middle-aged, untidy hair, a busy man, cheap clothes, stained with wine, covered earring, strong build. Seems friendly and honest. Conclusion: The innkeeper is a busy man, but not a wealthy one. He is friendly, strong, and well built. Plus one XP. Um, what do you know about the what do you know about the murder? It was a busy night at the inn, so I was at the bar downstairs all night. I only heard about the murder the next morning when the bar, bar barmaid barmaid. <laughs> Why don't they just call it the maid? When the maid found the body. Look, plenty of witnesses can prove they saw me here and I went upstairs. I see, thank you. Uh, who found the body? I have a barmaid who helps out around the inn. Her name's Imelda. Poor thing was terrified with, with what she saw. I had to send her home. I believe she lives near the village docks, if you'd like to uh, talk to her. Anyone saw anything? How about coming back tonight? Maxwell hangs out around the place every evening and night. Maxwell, okay. Let's go to get the key. The innkeeper looked looks embarrassed. Uh, uh, I had the key a while ago, and now I can't find it. I've been searching all over, the, and there's no sign of it. So why trails off sheepishly? Maybe you can go upstairs and see if there are other ways. You eh? Hey, <laughs> uh, sorry. You think? Hmm. Perhaps the door upstairs can be broken down since you are strong enough. Okay, so this is like. Because we are like, a, we chose it like a very strong person. Um, this we can use this to break into the door. How much for room? Two crowns at a night for our standard room. Interesting rumors. Okay, so reputation, increase the reputation, and I can get some interesting rumors. Let's pay for this, yep. One crown for the drink, okay. Let's try to go upstairs. This door is locked. Right? Hold right. Attempt to smash the lock open. Each time you attempt to smash the lock, you lose 15 HP. You may attempt this as many times as you want, as long as you have 50 or more HP. Each attempt has a 50% chance of a success. How many HP do I have? The bed has not been made. There are some blood stains on the sheets. You search under the bed and find a small leather strap. Clues are important discoveries during your investigation. You can inspect them by clicking the view clues button. The floor is a mess. It looks like there was a struggle of some kind. The contents of the overturned table are scattered all over the floor. You notice uh, a, a chicken drumstick on the floor. Someone took a bite out of it. You pick it up carefully, wrap it with some cloth, and place it inside your jacket pocket. It's in that. That's very disgusting. Okay, you level it up. Each time you gain enough experience to level up, you gain one extra perk. No thanks. Did 
This also unlocks tactical diplomacy. Let's go tactical diplomacy. Those are some clues. Wait a minute, you spot something on the floor. Necklace is golden and there is a single red gem in the middle. The chain is broken. Hmm, a clue? Hum, a clue? You found the dead body of the Magister. Skill points I may, can be spent to upgrade your Magister skills. You may spend skill points when traveling to the world map or before sleeping. The bonus skill point. You may use this to unlock a new skill or specialization or specialization. First things first, you should check the body for clues. That is a wound. There is a single gunshot wound on the mattress's shoulder. The size of the wound indicates he was hit from the distance, uh, from a distance away, and it wasn't fatal. Something struck his skull and split it open. Looks like he was bludgeoned to death. Examine the body. You find some coins and small iron key. You take the money and uh, plus okay. <laughs> um, gripping a revolver in his hands looks like he managed to get a shot off. You wonder if he managed to wound the murder. Um, let's take the gun. And the mug. Pick up a beer mat, a beer mug. It looks like an ordinary mug taken from the inn downstairs, but it's cracked and stained with blood. This looks like a murder weapon. Well, that was a lot of clues. in early afternoon. Can I talk to him again? I'm done with the body, you say. Let's get it buried as soon as we can, the innkeeper, the innkeeper not solemnly. I'll take care of it, Magister. The innkeeper reappears after a short while. It's been arranged. We moved him to the graveyard here. I'll mark it on your map. It's outside the village. There's an old man who takes care of things there. You can talk to him for more details. Barmaid. We still need to go to the barmaid. Chicken drumstick. Hmm. Skill point available. Oh, this is what it is. This is what it is. Unlocks brutal dialogue options. Unlocks pickpocket dialogue options. Gain a lucky card in both battles and tactical diplomacy mode. Um, I don't know. Let's just go with some brutal dialogue options.
All right, let's see here. Where do I need to go? Oh, let's go with the cult. Go to the cultist hunt. Surprise attack. Some enemies will flee if they are too badly hurt. Um. I can't finish it. I cannot finish the giant crow. <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. Um... Where am I supposed to go? Oh... C come on! <laughs> Like 50% and I fail like 3 times? That is not 50%. Greetings, Magister. I gathered some extra herbs this morning, so come take some. It'll help heal your wounds. The herbalist sniffs, uh, sniffs the food. Magister, the food is poisoned with black rot, wine, and odorless and tasteless poison that cripples within minutes. Do not eat it. If it's odorless and tasteless, how did the herbalist even try to even identify the food? I don't... I mean, sure. So we know that the chicken drumstick is poisoned. You find the Inquisitor lurking in this, this part of the village. As you approach, he turns to you and explains. I track down the cultist to, to this part of the village. There's a cellar door. Shall we get moving? 
Shall we get moving? How do I get moving? Oh, here. Investigate this. Enter the cellar. Let's go. Let's fight. Uh, let's fight to kill. Burning every three seconds, they lose five HP. This can be blocked. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, Inquisitor! This Inquisitor can take all the hits for me, and uh, I'll just shoot. Oh my god! Uh, if the Manchester is tired, fast he cards. Can, uh, are added to, to your deck. Didn't die. My God, I'm going to die. Dodged? Okay. I mean, sure. Wow. The Inquisitor died? Okay, well, uh... Okay, so you can go back to your last save or your... Or you can go back to the inn. Anyways, well, that was... That seems... Okay, um, it's... Okay, it's not... Uh, like, I like how there is a murder mystery to it. But I think that the combat... Needs a little bit more work. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first look at the Magister. Um, yeah. I really like how they are, how, like, there is a lot of deck building games, but they incorporate all these other. Uh, genres, uh, other game jo gaming genres into the game. Um, even though this is only in the demo, I think it's pretty good. It has a pretty good concept, but it needs a little bit more work with the uh, 
movement with the some of the chance, fifty percent chance, and I miss three times. That is a little bit iffy hitter. Like I feel like the code is not actually fifty percent chance. Maybe it is, and I'm sure I just have a bad luck. But who knows? So with that being said, um, I will leave it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are uh, having. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, um, and uh, learned a little bit about this game. And um, yeah, looks very nice. I will leave it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.